I know that animating the camera inside of Google Earth Studio can be a little bit clunky, so I'm gonna break down step by step how I'd like to do my workflow and maybe it'll help you out. Let me know down in the comment section. All right, let's say I want to do some animations of this cathedral. It's in Montmartre in Paris. It's called the Sacre Coeur and it's right here. Now let's say I just wanna create a couple of um, sample animations, you know, really quickly. I wanna do some like little half orbits or flybys or something. Now the first thing I wanna do here is go and right click directly on the cathedral and select set camera target. And now my camera is gonna auto orient and stay focused on the cathedral. And you can see here, it's kind of locked down my camera rotation parameters. So the pan and the tilt are gonna automatically adjust as I move around and animate. So I can go ahead and close these. And you can see it added this attribute called camera target. If I open this up, this is essentially the, the same controls as my uh, camera position. However, there's an influence right here as well. So if I want the camera to follow the camera target, I need to keep the influence set to 100. If I want it to just kind of point where it's going, I'll set it to zero and you can see that's keyframeable. But that's kind of a more advanced feature. So we'll get into that maybe in another tutorial. And the next thing you wanna do is set up your viewport. So if your interface is looking a little bit different than mine, just go to view and select multi-view, two viewports, and then set your viewport to top. And then right here, I can zoom out and I can see there's my camera target and I'm looking at it straight from the top and north is always up. So it's easy to stay oriented here. And I can control my camera manually by grabbing it here. And now you can see that as I move this around, it's actually quite easy to now look at all these different angles of this cathedral. And I'm gonna zoom out here. This will give me a little bit extra space, so if I wanna go way far out, I can go way far out. So once I've got this set up, I want to adjust the altitude of my camera. So right down here, I'm gonna close camera target because camera target can be confused for camera position and that can really send you in the wrong direction for your animation. But right now, my altitude is set to 426 meters. So a lot of times you're gonna be way up high um, and you're gonna wanna adjust this. So I can simply click this and start to scroll and get it exactly where I want. If you wanna make big adjustments, hold shift and it's gonna move you know, real fast. And if you wanna make fine tune adjustments, hold control and then it'll move really slow. Or you can just manually type in something. One other thing that I like to turn off is follow camera. So right now it's focused in on my camera on the top viewport and I can't see the camera target, which is really annoying. So I like to right click and then turn off this follow camera. So now it's not gonna be constantly changing your viewpoint, which is really just so annoying. And now I zoom out and I can just keep it right here and I can move the camera and it looks great. Now it's really as simple as adding a couple of keyframes. I'm gonna take my playhead to the beginning, put my camera in its first position, which is kind of gonna be on this back side here. I'm gonna add a keyframe to camera position. Then I'm gonna to go to like the, you know, three and a half second mark. And I'll bring the camera kind of over to the front here. And then I'll go ahead and add another keyframe. And now look at what we got. And I'm gonna select all of my keyframes, right click, add some easy ease. That'll make it a little bit smoother. Okay, now let's say that we're, we're cutting off some of the, the area down here. So what I can do is I can go down to camera target and I can change the altitude. So right now it's set to 162. If I want this more center, I can simply adjust the camera target, you know, bring it down a little bit. That's looking better. And now look what I'm seeing in my top viewport. If you look, you can see the motion path and you can see the two uh, keyframe points. So that's my start position, that's my end position, and you can see it's auto-orienting to that camera target, which is really great. You're also seeing these little dots in here. That's basically like your speed reference. Now one other cool thing and one thing that I like to do is if I like to do iterations and different looks, you can do it real quickly just by tweaking your animation right here in the top viewport. And let's say, for example, I don't want it to be a straight line. I want it to kind of more of like a half orbit around. So if I go grab my point here, which is essentially these keyframes here, if I'm grabbing this point, and I hold Alt or Control, and then click and drag, it's gonna give me these handles. And now I can bend this path. Yeah, 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 let me move my playhead. Grab this, hold Control, give myself another handle. And now I can even bring these closer. So we're really doing more of an orbit around and there we go, now look at that. 
Okay, so there you have it. If you're new to Google Earth Studio, I recommend practicing with this workflow. Let me know if you like it, or if you have a better method, please share it with me in the comments section. I would love to hear it. And as always, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more Google Earth Studio videos or tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell.